Hey everybody, welcome to Engineering Academy and in this video I'll be talking about the shear wall. Alright, so let me first tell you what a shear wall is. So a shear wall is basically a reinforced concrete wall. Alright, so what does the reinforced concrete means? So reinforced concrete means basically you got a concrete and it is reinforced with the help of the reverse, right? So if you construct a wall uh, that is made of uh, concrete and it has got uh, you know rebars in it, so that is basically RCC wall that is known as a shear wall. Alright, so so next question comes to know uh, why we need a shear wall. Uh, well, uh, that depends on your purpose. You know what you are actually constructing all right so let me give you an example through this paint all right so you know you just have this hilly portion and what you have to do is that you just have to uh, build any structure over here so what you have to do is that you cannot make structure in this slope land. so what you do you just make an excavation right over here right so you just make an excavation you just take this swell out and what you have to do you have to retain this wall over here so you can retain this wall you know using ordinary machinery wall or using a gavian wall you know using other methods possible but suppose that your uh, you know site condition uh, require you to construct a shear wall so so that you know to resist this lateral pressure of the swell right so what you do you just build a shear wall here with this footing right so another case may be that so you are uh, building a stock that has got a basement right so you are building this structure and what you do you just make an excavation here 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 right so this is your ground this is your ground all right so what you have to do so there is soil over here so there is soil over here also so what you have to do is you have to retain this soil right so what you do you just build this sheer wall here and shear wall here as well so your entire basement is made of shear wall and you just make your building over the ground like this right so another case may be that so another case may be uh, maybe that uh, the shear walls I'll show you here so here you can see that uh, this this is a simple uh, floor plan right so you got a shear wall here so in this case this shear wall is actually required in order to stick the uh, FFS brick on it all right so sometimes you got a shear wall uh, you know uh, like here so in between just columns or you know the just like an ordinary wall so you got a shear wall here so that kind of shear wall is required in order to increase the stiffness of the building another case where you require a shear wall is the lift so here you can see that there is a lift and here you require the shear wall in order to hold that cabin in all right so so the the cabin the, where you just go inside and you know just go up and down so it has got a uh, uh, kind of tracks on its side and so the tracks has a league on the shear walls all right this is why we need the shear wall now we'll see the, how we can construct a shear wall at the side all right so before going into the side I'll let me first show you uh, in a typical drawing of a shear wall so in this drawing I'll be showing you the shear wall of a lift all right so the so let me first tell you that all the shear walls you know be it of a lift or any any you know ordinary wall for holding the soil so they have all the same configuration so the reinforcements are arranged in the similar fashion in all kind of shear walls all right so here I'm just taking an example of this lift okay so you can see uh, so this is the opening for the lift and this is the uh, void that is required for the lift and this is your shear wall okay so what do you do so this is your plan and if you cut the section like this and see in this direction what are you gonna see so you will see a structure like this so this your wall is I'm showing you from the foundation level alright so it goes all the way up uh, here it has shown the brick wall but uh, so you just imagine that these your walls are going all the way up alright so let us begin from the foundation alright so there is a ground level so, so of that you got stone swelling and of that you got PCC then comes a 450 mm rat foundation all right so the rat foundation you got a uh, 16 5 a 150 center center at the top and bottom as well so you got two mess at the top and bottom that consists of 16 5 uh, diameter bars uh, 150 mm center to center all right so after you have constructed this foundation what you have to do is that what you have to do you got your wall here all right so 
this wall has a reinforcement and here the reinforcement says that the main bar or the vertical bar all right so here the main bar is the vertical bar all right so this main bar is 12 phi center to 12 mm diameter bars placed 150 mm center to center they are vertical all right so if you see this on the plan it will look like this okay so let me just uh, you know make uh, give a try okay so we just copy this all right so we just uh, copy this uh, from here to here so okay so let's zoom in and let's oh, snap off now let's copy it all right so they got like this all right, so the main bars are placed in the shear wall vertically like this. They go all the way from here, 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 up to here, and here as well. All right. Okay, so here you can see that 12, 5, 150 mm center, they are at the outside as well as in the inside. All right, so here you got these uh, bars at the outside. Similarly, you got these bars at the inside as well. How? Just like this, so there is not uh, plenty of space, but you can, I hope you can imagine that, right? So there are these uh, bars in the inside as well as at the outside. So, all right, so, okay, what do you do? So, so this is, this is, all right, so this is how the main bars are placed, all right? So they are 150 mm, so center to center is spacing, that is from here to here, that is 150, from here to here, that is 150, so this means center to center is spacing, and the spacing from here to here, that depends, all right? So if, you know, basically the uh, lift shear wall is 230 mm thick, and uh, you just leave the clear cover here, you just leave the clear cover uh, here, and whatever left is between, is the spacing between these two bars, all right? Okay. Okay, so uh, this is how the main bars are placed. Now you can also see there is the binder bars. There are the binder bars. <laughs> All right. Okay, so the binder it says that binder bars are placed 8 mm, 150 mm center to center. So 8 mm bars, you can see the main bars are vertical on the outside and the binder bars are horizontal on the inside. All right. So they are on the inside and they are placed 150 mm center to center. That means that the spacing from this to this bar is 150 mm and they go all the way up. So what we can conclude here is that the main bar, they are distributed on the length or you can say the breadth right, like this and the uh, distribution bars, they are distributed vertically through the height. All right. All right. So this is how the reinforcement of a shear wall is detailed. Now we'll see at the side how they are actually arranged. All right, guys. So this is the site, and you can see a lift is under construction there, and uh, this is the opening of the lift door. All right. So if we uh, look at the rebars closely, you can see that there is a, a 12 mm a diameter bars that are vertical, and they are on the outside as well as on the innermost side. All right. The distribution bars are on the inner side of the main bars, as you can see here. All right. So in order to separate the outer and the inner mesh that the main bar and the distribution bar form, uh, the the chairs are placed as you can see here all right so this is how the shear wall reinforcement is arranged so this is uh, uh, the case of lift but in any case you know in everywhere if it comes the shear wall so the shear wall uh, the reinforcement is arranged similar to this one all right so the bar size may be different so you know 12 mm bar may be 16 mm bar or you know maybe change uh, bigger than that as well so that depends upon the load that it is taking uh, but the main concept or the main principle for the arrangement of the reinforcement is just as shown in this video all right guys so uh, this means for this video hope this video was helpful uh, thank you for watching take care